how you doing? This is Chaz and welcome to another episode of Hey, how the freak am I going to do that? Today we're dealing with a chandelier. And this is a replacement chandelier from the heinous one that I took down from way up there. And you're probably asking yourself, Hey, how the freak did he do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, first of all, I had to go up into the attic, which I'm going to take you there in a little bit. And I had to disconnect the prior chandelier, hook a rope to it, lowered it down, threw it in the garbage. Now I have this new one, and I'm going to rig it up, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to get up on the ceiling. Let's take a look over here. I made this ceiling plate out of a piece of wood to cover up the plaster because I'm not going to get up there and paint. And I hooked the chain. You see this? Put the chain and a rope. And I'll show you what this chain is a little later. And I snipped the wires and I rigged up some quick connects. So I got the positive, the negative, and the ground. I have the female quick connects up in the attic. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this rope up and this chain to a rope that I'm going to dangle out of that hole. And this contraption, when it's all put together, I'm going to hoist it up to the ceiling. But first I've got to drop the rope down. So I'm going to show you how to get up in your attic, how to walk in your attic without falling through the ceiling and killing yourself, and how this whole thing works. I want you to come with me. All right, so we're in my daughter's room, and unfortunately for her, the attic hatch to get up into the attic is in her closet. So you're gonna need a ladder and a flashlight or a headlamp. This one, put in your lips. So, set the ladder up. Pop the lid, climb up, and once I get up there, I'm gonna show you how to navigate it without falling through the ceiling. All right, I popped the lid, and our attic has a little light. That was nice of the builders to put a light up here. And as you can see, there's blown in insulation. And if you step in the wrong place, you're toast. Lay down some boards so you have a place to walk. So I walked over here, and you're probably wondering, well, how did I know where the chandelier was? Well, just like corruption in politics, where you follow the money in electrical work, you follow the electricity wires. You're probably wondering, well, how did I get to the chandelier? There was a electrical receptacle over the top of it. I had to smash it with a hatchet to get to it. So it's not quite code at the moment, but no one's inspecting this house in the time being, and uh, I plan on dropping dead here, so... Not my problem. Now, what I did was I snipped the wires and I, there's the female, the female end of the wire. Of course, you gotta turn the power off. So make sure you have the chandelier on that you're taking down, cut the breaker, lower it down after you snip this wire. And what I did was I lowered it down with this rope I rigged up these little hooks and I'm going to lower this rope down. I'm going to pull the chandelier back up and I'm going to hook the chain to that. And then I'm going to take my wires and I'm going to hook them into that, flip the breaker and all should work. All right, so I went up in the attic, I dropped the rope down and then I tied it to this rope and chain. And I actually have to hold this up because this crazy chandelier that my wife wanted is going to fall apart if I let go. So I'm going to put some tension on it. I'll get one of my kids to hold on to it while I hoist it up. So you get the picture. i got a rope going up to the ceiling. And after I go back up in the attic and pull all this crap up, I'll send you tight to the ceiling. And I'm going to hook it onto a nail onto this chain. And then I'm gonna 
Take these quick connects and connect it up, flip on the switch, and boom, hopefully it works. Alrighty, so with this rope tied to this rope and chain, I pulled the chandelier all the way up and cinched it up against the ceiling. See that? Cinched up. And I took the chain and I hooked it to one of these. If this fails, this is the backup. And if that fails, the rope that I have tied to the chandelier, I tied off to a stud. So the, ro the rope that you use to yank it up with, just disconnect it and set it off to the side. Because you're going to eventually need to change a light bulb or something. And you want to be able to find your rope. So the next step is the quick connects. I tied red, or taped red on here so I know positive to positive negative to negative and the, the bare wire is the ground so i'm gonna connect these up when i have two hands here and i'm gonna go down and flip the switch and hopefully we have light and not fire moment of truth i'm down from the attic i cinched the light up to the ceiling with the rope secured it on the chain did the quick connects now we're gonna see if it turns on drum roll there they are now you know how to get a chandelier down and back up for when you need to change light bulbs or your wife just says, I don't like that chandelier, I want a new one. Hey. And you don't want to have to pay for a contractor to come up with scaffolding and crazy ladders. That's, that's crazy talk. Do it yourself. So next time you got a problem, a project, you're like, how the freak am I going to do that? Come like my page, watch my videos, and uh, like all good projects, we're going to end with cracking a beer. Till next time.